And Candace, along with these schools are already doing now, they're being asked by Richmond Mayor LeVar Stoney, specifically to the ones in the city, to go a step further with the state's exposure notification app. As college and university students return to Richmond, Mayor LeVar Stoney has sent a letter to the presidents of the four schools in the city suggesting they mandate all students and staff download the state's exposure notification app COVID-wise. VCU and Reynolds Community College didn't address the requirement request, but tell CBS 6 they linked to the app on their respective COVID-19 resource pages. Meanwhile, among VCU students, the reaction was mixed. Nah, I don't, I'm not going to download it. I'm not downloading it. I think it's for the best, you know, if someone around me has COVID, I kind of need to know just to be aware. And as classes return, some of the schools are beginning to report cases. The University of Richmond says it has six active cases as of Tuesday, while VC reported 36 cases Thursday. While the number of cases didn't increase on Friday, the number of students quarantining on campus for possible exposure more than doubled to 67. I definitely like expected something to happen for sure. It's just like it was just like a matter of like how quickly it was. I don't think it was gonna be this quick for sure. Students tell CBS 6 they're worried the in-person school year may be called off because of the virus. I feel like it's inevitable at this point. There's like 30 something cases and staff is getting it. A VCU spokesperson says there are dozens of variables that could impact school operations, including the decision to move to all virtual, adding their response team consistently reviews new guidelines and data to make those decisions. Meanwhile, VCU says it's going ahead with a Weeks of Welcome event this weekend, a carnival on its Cary Street field. The school says it's taking precautions, including a 40-student cap and one-hour rotations, with masks required and cleaning in between each group. Some students expressed reservations about going, but others say they felt comfortable and were planning on it. We definitely want to do our Weeks of Welcome, especially just because our RAM camp got canceled over summer. All of our summer classes were moved online. Now, circling back to the COVID Wise app, we've asked VDH for an update, and they say as of yesterday, there have been four, over 407,000, uh, 407,000 downloads of the app. They say that's about 9.6% of Virginians between 18 and 65 with the smartphone. And they say that so far there have been 19 cases where someone has tested positive for the virus and then use the app's notification system to alert people of possible exposure. Working for you in Richmond, Cameron Thompson, CBS 6 News.